Hi everyone, this is Phil Vilnev, and I'm at Sanigan's Meat Locker, on location, taking photos for our meat issue. Could you please introduce yourself and what you do at this butcher shop? Hi, I'm Steve O'Brien. I'm the assistant manager here at Sanigan's Meat Locker. So, Steve, you've been here since uh, Sanigan's was a tiny little shop. What, how did it become such a large operation? Why did it become such, so much bigger? Uh, attention to detail, a lot of little service things, but really our meat is pretty incredible. Um, a lot of local, um, local small Ontario farmers and their care uh, is shown through our butchery as well. So people uh, have been voting with their, their palates. Can you also please explain the extremely high quotient of handsome butchers in this butcher shop? You guys have a reputation. We have a reputation? Yeah. It's uh, meat behind the counter and in the counter, like, I, oh. <laughs> like really, meat everywhere that everyone wants to look at. Wow, they've all got great personalities too. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm here with Lisa, the head butcher at Sanigan's. Hi Lisa. Hi. So what, can you explain what you're doing right here? Yeah, for sure. So I'm, I cut up some chops on the bandsaw, yeah. and now I'm just scraping uh, the fat off them before we put them in the window. Delicious. Yeah. Can you explain maybe what some of the more interesting cuts are back here that you guys work with? Are there some weird cuts that we've never even thought of back here? Probably. Um, first thing that comes to mind is awful. So like the insides of animals. Yeah. Uh, things like um, hearts, livers, sometimes people ask for brain. Um, <gasps> Yeah, stuff like that. That isn't super common. We don't usually put it in the window, but... Uh, but it's available if they want it. Pretty much, yeah. You heard it here, everyone. There are brains available at Sanigan's. How much of your day is um, taken up by handling meat? Uh, all of it, I would say. <laughs> you get the odd bit of downtime, but we're yeah. pretty consistently busy, so there's always someone to help out and to to handle meat for. Can you maybe also, since you're working so much with meat, talk about why meat has become so popular lately in this city? Why is everyone so meat hungry? Um, I think it's more about kind of reconnecting with your farmer, reconnecting with the uh, rural environment as well, knowing who's producing for you, um, and just knowing that what you're getting is a quality product, something that's been raised naturally. And if you can provide that, people are going to engage with you on a much, uh, much deeper level, I think. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you.